everything that springs from the MSG being bad for you myth, it boils down to this. It's actually a story that sounds too crazy to be true, right? Let so, him know. Let it. Let us hear it. In 1968, this is when the big racist MSG myth was perpetuated. Mm. Um, there was a letter to the New England Journal of Medicine by a biomedical researcher named Dr. Robert Ho Man Kwok. They came. To, they claimed to be Cantonese, and they said that okay. every time they ate Chinese food. Um, they would experience numbness and tingling in the back of their neck and their arms would get numb. They would have crazy inflammation. They'd get headaches, Nicole. They'd start shivering. They'd start sweating. So a doctor says that his patients were doing this? Or no, a doctor would? said himself. Oh, okay, okay. And it was supposed to be peer-reviewed for evidence. Um, turns out it was not. And the reason you know this is that Dr. Robert Ho Man Kwok is not a real person. 